Hello. This one make sure, yeah. Working. Because my phone's been a bit may or may not type of deal. And um, I opted out of the phones today. Here comes my cat again the minute I sit down. And yeah. Meow. Uh, he'll be up in a second. So because I it's not that windy, I'm sure you can hear me pretty good today. So just a thought about I promised before to bring this up and it's just not about how to get your kids to bed at night, how to make them do the homework, how to make them do anything basically. Bye Harry! That you want them to do, how to get them to dress themselves when to school, how to get them to pick up the clothes when they start just dropping it all inside the door, does that sound familiar? <laughs> And um, and it's like, no matter how many times you say it, right, you have to keep repeating it. And somewhere I'm sure it sticks, but the bottom line is, for example, was the, say they come in the door, all the clothes are on the, on the floor, but the shoes are put in the right spot. Focus on one thing that works. I know they know they're supposed to pick that, but go crazy about the fact that the shoes are in the right place. I'm not saying this to be goofy and blah blah blah. I'm saying this because this stuff works. <laughs> it works great for me. And I mean, I fought with my little kid, and I mean, uh, I get angry, he get angry, and it turns into this I don't know what. So I just learned that I'm not getting anywhere with that. And as a matter of fact, when he gets that angry, I just drop it because he's learning nothing and it's just turning into a nasty experience. And he doesn't even hear me at that stage when he gets that angry. And the best thing to do when we get there, this sounds also very controversial, but is to hug him. I mean, the older he gets, the harder he gets because the more he's, he fights against it. But just to break that, whatever it takes. In my case, I worked two couple of times when he won't let me hug him anymore. Um, simply joke about something, not tell a joke, but make something funny, something in the room funny. He might not laugh, but it will break the tension from being so high up in his anger. Now, my kid happens to be very intense, as they call it. Uh, not AD, ADD kid, but um, yeah, he's had a hard time sitting still, but he's getting better and better at it for many reasons. He got help at school and because he's getting older and a little bit more mature, he handles things better. But also because I tackled him better, I've learned to deal with it better. One of the ways is just treat him with love, overwhelm him with love. And the things that don't work, like the clothes are on the, on the ground, I'll tell him to pick it up. That's about it. I never nag him about it. I just say, hey, what's this? He knows. I don't need to. And even when he makes crazy choices, like, like good expression, I like, thank you, Miss Connie. <laughs> I learned from his preschool teacher. Um, like he does things that he's not supposed to, like he might get angry and hit some other kid in the back. And I haven't seen that for a long time, but it happened when he was little, when he was about a year ago, when he was maybe six or seven. And me getting angry at him for doing it doesn't help because he's doing it in rage. And the minute he does that, he regrets it. He knows himself. There's no point in me nagging about it. It doesn't help. It doesn't help him, it just makes it worse. It sounds very contradictory, and I know even myself, um, I had arguments against this, that there's gotta be a limit. Yeah, but yeah, there is, and there is a limit, but me getting angry at him isn't helping. Not in those cases, anyway. Because, mainly because he knows. And hey, that just happened in the beginning of the semester. He hit one of his very best friends. He got angry and 
it bashed her kind of on the side like but he did it on purpose all right and he knew he knew right away i happened to be there and he ran off there was no point in me i ran off to get him but that was the only thing run behind ran after him to get him but there was no point in me getting angry at him for doing it he knows and he was so sorry because this was one of his absolutely best friends and that he actually went back and apologized for it and he made sure everything was fine before we left and that's a lot of that's got to do with me being calm about it had i gotten angry with him for that he was running off to hide and then i get angry on top of that that would have just turned the whole situation to to craziness i know i had mother mothers telling me that i'm too quiet too too kind but you know what he knows me adding on to this just makes it worse for him and makes it harder for him not to do it again it makes it way easier the other way around it makes it way easier for him to do it again if that causes me to get angry too then it's he's just tipping all over again and, and to trip over it's easy to stay on this side good if you like but if not him the other kids are staying on that side it's hard for him when he gets that angry but if he does it right and he gets reward for doing it right then it gets easier next time not to do it so i'll give you a good example um, <laughs> when i was uh, just been driving i um, was slightly careless let's put it away and and i crashed a couple times let's just leave it a couple <laughs> it was it was more than a couple but okay uh, the one time I knew it was irrational, it was silly, and I, I crashed straight into this guy who just dropped his kids off at school, and he was granted and understandably angry. And after this whole thing happened, he called my dad. And um, at that time, I, I wasn't living at home, but I happened to be at my dad's home, and I overheard the conversation. I heard my dad go, yeah, 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 I know, I understand, blah, blah, blah. And I thought to myself, here we go. Um, my dad hung up the phone. He turned around, looked at me, and he said, well, you know exactly yourself how stupid that was. That was it. That was the end of that call. And the truth is, I didn't need any more. He was right. I knew exactly. And I had already been mulling this in my head over and over again repeatedly. I didn't need any more. It was the same thing. It was a really good lesson for me, and I remember that one well that taught me more than anything had he gone raging mad at me i'd just go ah oh, it's just an awkward situation and i probably would have said my dad was silly dad at that time um, but instead he surprised me he did something different and that kind of caught me off guard it learned it's something that i caught me off guard not something i remember still today and it really worked he was right too he was right i knew god and well myself so it's the same thing with my little kid. And then the shoes on the right place, go crazy about that. He'll remember that. And then when he gets encouraged, when the shoes are in the right place and he get all that positive feedback, he's more inclined to go and hang up his jacket the next time. That works guaranteed too. That works really, really good. I give him positive feedback for something he does. He's more, way more inclined. He will do it next time, and he's more inclined to try to help in other areas too. And it's as simple as that, because the fighting takes a lot of energy. Really takes ton of energy, and I mean, I've been, we've been to therapy. Um, and I've learned all this. It will be there for, two couple, for a couple of years before we finish it. And you could probably spend a lot of money learning this stuff, but it really is that simple. Just focus on the positive. I believe what the therapist said was where you shine your light. And that's exactly what it is. Whether it was a therapy, physical therapy, or a psychological therapy, or physical therapy. In life in general, all those leaders tell the same. Where you put your attention, highest energy wins. Where you shine your light. That's what's going to be brought up. If you are nagging, and I believe there are studies done on this too, that 
our kids overall receive way too much nagging and repetitiveness. And what happens in the end, they don't hear you even. And um, it just, it's you're wasting your time. And that drains you. And when you put the energy on the, all the clothes on the floor, it's boring, it's tiring, and it's not going anywhere. So shine your light on the things that you do want to see more of. Now I use the clothes on the floor when they come in the door. Um, it's probably common. And also know that it's a habit. Uh, it's not something that will come automatically. And it, even the best of us forget at times. But keep doing it. When catch yourself when you're when you're not when, you know when you're going the wrong way, and eventually it'll become second nature like anything else. Like my guy will do something that annoys me, he'll, like he'll grab the grab the iPad in the mornings, which is not allowed. And okay, that's not okay. But don't make a big deal out of it, because otherwise we'll never get out of the house in the morning. That's it. The iPad, not in the mornings. That was not okay. That was it. Now there might be a repercussion on the afternoon though. Saying, well you took it this morning. There might be a consequence into that this afternoon. But don't spend a lot of time on it. Focus on the fact that he got dressed by himself without me saying anything. That he got went and brushed his teeth all by himself without me saying anything. That was awesome. So, shine your light. <laughs> no, but sh seriously, shine the light on the things you want to see more on. It really works. It sounds silly and in the moment when you're going, <sighs> when you're going crazy angry about this sh stuff, this shite down work that you're so want to happen. And it's hard. I know it's hard. But the thing about it is, if you can and start reversing that and you see the positive effects on it like you shine your light with something you wanted to see and it happens it works it'd be way easier just as it was harder for it'll be hard for him not to do not to hit the other kids it will be way easier to hit not not do it again if he had a positive reinforcement when he stopped himself it's same thing with us with the grown-ups once you see that it works, that you're shining your light on something that you want to see and it works, the kids does again, it'll be way easier next time. And in spite of that, there's going to be days when you go... But you catch yourself doing it and it's way easier again, way easier to catch yourself next time and just go, oh well. Because it saves you a ton of energy, <laughs> believe you me, to not go crazy every single time because that's just a lot of drainage. So, I feel I'm repeating myself, but I also know that the therapist repeated herself a lot of times. When some, one few times I'll be asking her and she'll be, she be coming back to this and I'm thinking, oh, here, I should have known, right? So, the reason I do repeat myself is so that you'll hear me. But I'm sure I'll get back to it again. So, hoping that serves you. And in front of all, for your kids, for your sake, you save me energy, and for your kids' sake, they'll have a better time. And the world will be a much more fun place. Because they'll grow up without having to have all this. With having that. And learn themselves to focus on what works. So. Ciao. <laughs> if you're still here. I appreciate you. Until next time. Have an awesome day.